All right, this is the easiest, simple way to fix sound problems for your home theater or TV problems. Um, let's say you have your TV sound is out, the soundboard is out, or you're just not getting any audio coming out of your TV, and you don't know what's wrong with it. Um, easiest, cheapest way to do it is buy PC speakers, or if you have PC speakers laying around, use them. Uh, some PC speakers have subwoofers, so it'll even sound better than your TV speaker. So not only that you fix the problem, it sounds better than it ever did before. Uh, so what you want to do is, basically, if you have a TV like mine, you plug it into the back right here. And, and see the picture of the headphones? So the PC speakers, most of them have a thing called the stereo jack right here. And then that plugs into the headphone jack right there. Just like that. And then you just plug it into the wall right there for the amplification to amplify it. And then just turn it on. Automatically torn apart. Hold on. Just like that. Um, if I have a subwoofer, sound even better than that, and better than your TV speakers ever did. And but if you don't have a headphone jack on the side of your TV, you can get a Y adapter and plug it into the back of your TV that has the white and red it out or analog some people call analog or RCA but you see where it says audio out right there below that optical cable black cable and the Y adapter plug into there the red and white and then on the other end of the Y adapter would be a, a female stereo jack and then that plugs into the PC speakers plug into that back of the back of the Y adapter and that would also work or if you have like a Bose PC speakers or um, any of them that have the optical, then you can use optical cable do the same thing. So even though the soundboard or amplifier board on the TV is bad, they'll bypass that and you can actually plug into optical out or the red and white analog cables out or the stereo headphone jack out to any like surround sound device or PC speakers, external speaker device, and you should still get audio, even though the TV soundboard is bad. And uh, the optical cable looks like this, by the way. And it has the red light in it. And that's how I have mine connected. Mine's connected in the back right there where it says TV speakers in. Or you use a boom box. And a boom box, it'd be, uh, I think it says AUX. A -U -X. Uh, so you plug it into that input in the back of your boom box. And then you'd have to hit the source of function button on it until it says on the screen AUX. And AUX means auxiliary. Uh, another way you could do it is. Let's say you don't have an audio out on your TV and you have a cable box, you could do the audio out on your cable box, the white and red right here, you see. And you got the white and the red right there below the yellow. But again, you need the Y adapter for that. And the Y adapter you buy at Radio Shack. So I hope this helps. I hope it did begin a large check. Let me know if this is a good guide, a good video, and it helped you. Uh, let me know if there's any other home theater or TV needs that you want me to make a video on. All right, and uh, I'll go ahead and make that video for you. Please, thanks for uh, commenting, and uh, I got to tend to my son now. Bye.